Well, a couple of days ago, my GoPro died. I don't know exactly what happened, but it wouldn't power up. So, because it was under warranty, I sent it back to GoPro, GoPro for repair or replacement. But because we're going to Nanahala in a couple of days, I wanted another waterproof camera that I could use to video what we're doing there. And I did some research, and uh, the most highly recommended was the Akaso EK7000 4K Ultra HD camera. So that's what I bought, and with a uh, SIM card and extra battery charger, the whole thing came to about $100. It wasn't terribly expensive. And I took some videos, and I wanted to test the quality of them, so I tried to figure out how to download them. And it was nothing in the user manual or on YouTube videos that I watched about downloading directly to a PC. It was all about talking about uh, downloading with Wi-Fi. So I said, you know, okay, let me try that. And it was a real pain, let me tell you. I'm going to take you through all the steps that I went through to attempt to, da to access the camera with Wi-Fi and attempts that ultimately failed. So I decided to give up on that and uh, use one of the two USB cords that got sent to me. So I used those and they did not provide me access to the camera either. So I was in the process of packing, packaging it up to send it back and I said, let me try one more thing. And I used the USB cord from my phone and that gave me access to the camera. So the cords were probably defective and I sent Acaso an email asking them to replace the cords, and we'll see what happens with that. And the other thing that might have happened was because I went through the process of trying to set up Wi-Fi, the last time I tried to use a cord, it worked. I don't know, but uh, I'll, I'll go through the process so you can see what it's like, and I've looked at some of the videos I took of me rolling and they're very very good they're very comparable to GoPro videos and uh, the Acaso um, add-ons the uh, features that come with it uh, are all GoPro compatible so for less than a hundred bucks I don't think you can go wrong so I hope you enjoy the video if you know what the problem is with my Wi-Fi let me know not that I intend to use it because I really don't want to download videos to my phone, I just rather go directly to my PC. Go to my phone, then I just have to go to my phone and my PC, and that just seems stupid to me. Okay, at the end of this, after I go through the steps of uh, setting up Wi-Fi, I'll post the videos of me rolling. I mean, really, all you're going to see is paddle uh, and paddle blade and water, but I was just doing that as an experiment. Hope you like it. This is the Acaso EK7000 camera. As you can tell, it looks very much like your standard GoPro camera. After I researched how to set up the Wi-Fi, I discovered that I had to download an app. It's called iSmartDV. And the instructions said download the iSmartDV from Google Play or an Apple Store. If you look at the bottom of this picture, however, you'll see that you also have to download something called Blue Sticks, which is an Android emulator. Just another step. So in downloading and installing Blue Stacks was pretty easy, took a few seconds, and then downloading and installing iSmartDV was pretty easy as well and also just took a few seconds. So this is where the fun begins. The instructions say you power on the camera, switch to photo mode, and then press the down Wi-Fi button, which is the gray button in this case. And after the Wi-Fi is set to on, the screen on the camera shows waiting for Wi-Fi connection. And it did that. And I waited, and I waited, and I waited, and nothing happened. I was beginning to get a little bit annoyed until I saw the text that said find a Wi-Fi named ICAM. So not knowing what that meant, I looked for available networks and in fact I found a network called ICAM. So I put in, I connected to it and put in the password and then my camera said connected. So everything seemed to be working pretty well.
The next thing I did was go to iSmart DV and make a long story short, added a camera and it found the camera. It said, oh, I thought, great, now I've connected my camera to my PC using Wi-Fi, I'm ready to roll. But then when I clicked on the camera to actually try to do something with it, I got the message. Check your status of your camera. Check the Wi-Fi. Make sure you're connected. Well, of course I was connected. How could I have downloaded all the stuff if I wasn't? So I checked my internet connection, and sure enough, it said no internet, even though a few seconds earlier it had said connected. So I don't know what the story is. Perhaps there's too many internet connections going on. That's when I switched to cables, and I was actually, after a few trial and errors, able to download some videos. Uh, and those, I'll show you those videos that follow. And you're going to be surprised. It's very, very nice video.